Greetings APSP and now PHTA board members. My name is Brian Brummel and I'm the Managing Director for Venture Pacific and Aqua Lions Financial Services Division. And what we wanted to try to do, um, we've sent out a lot of information about the program that we've created on the retirement side for the 401k. Um, and in talking with Seth recently, we wanted to try to be a little bit more strategic in how we were actually educating not only the members, but really you. Uh, you have the best connection with your members. You have, um, you have the most knowledge of the members that may actually benefit from, some, from these types of programs. And we worked really hard to create a program that we feel is top of the line, best in the industry, um, with regards to how companies can access uh, 401k plans. Uh, this is more of an aggregate program, so we created it with two things in mind. A, cost. Um, a lot of companies, whether they're small or big, don't really have access to the type of uh, plans and services that are out there in the industry. Um, so we wanted to create something that we knew, because of the m number of members that APSP has, that we could get uh, kind of a bulk discount in pricing. Um, also, there's a lot of liability that goes into managing a retirement plan. Most of the owners that we've talked to um, aren't even aware of how much they're liable and how much at risk they are when they manage a plan. There's probably over 50 different items that you have to keep up with on a regular basis, on an annual basis when you manage a plan. The program that we created takes care of all of that. 99% of all the admin responsibilities and duties is outsourced to the program. So all they really have to do is upload payroll uh, for each of their pay periods when they're uh, putting money into their employees' 401ks. So what I wanted to do today was at least show you an example um, so that you could have something in the back of your mind. So when you're hosting your chapter meetings or you're hosting a call with members or you're even thinking about a particular member that's in your chapter that might benefit from some of these types of programs, that you could use us as a resource, call me, um, we're going to send this in an email that you'll have our information, but we wanted to have this, this video directed mostly towards you so that you can kind of get a feel for what's going on within the program and, and some of the companies are actually joining. So behind me on the whiteboard, I've got an example of one company that has recently joined uh, the program and this kind of is relative to all different kinds and sizes of companies that actually join the program. We've had several come in, uh, startups, as well as uh, bigger plans such as this. Uh, but what we're trying to do is, we're, what I'm going to actually try to show you is really the, f the fact that the costs um, are significant because of the fact that we've got large numbers that we've been able to kind of price in um, through, through APSP with the top of the line providers that we have, TAG as on the administrative side and Transamerica on the record keeping side. Um, so this plan actually was around $2.4 million and its previous plan costs were 1.5%. So their total costs were $36,000 a year. With the APSP PHTA program, we were able to drop the cost down to 0.85%. So all plans that are under $5 million come in at around 0.65, and then if you add the advisory fee to it, uh, of which is negotiated for each plan, it can, it can be around the 0.85%. So that dropped this particular company's cost from $36,000 to $20,400 a year. We saved them $15,600 in their plan costs, which basically is a savings for the employees because most plans are actually debiting their employees on a monthly basis when it comes to plan costs. The other side of what we've done is we've reduced the liability um, significantly. We've basically taken all of the liability that any plan sponsor, owner of a company, key fiduciary takes on when they manage these plans um, so this number here is 65 percent that the Department of Labor, when they run an audit, which is random for any company that's in, involved in 401k plans, 65 percent of plans fail the audit because of all those things I mentioned, the 50 different types of administrative um, uh, duties that are involved, you know, you, you can't keep up with all of them. There's always one or two things that you're going to miss, that you're going to miss a notice, you're going to miss some type of a deposit, maybe it's going to go in late. So the role of this program is to not only reduce the cost for all members from an aggregate standpoint, but it's also to reduce the liability. So if 65% of most plans fail an audit, the TAG administrative program that we put together for APSP has never failed an audit and doesn't plan on it because their job is to make sure from an administrative standpoint that they've crossed all T's and dotted all I's. 
So this is just an example of kind of what the cost can look like for a company that comes in and joins. We're certainly going to be able to reduce the cost on a, on a very significant level. But ultimately, we're going to be able to protect the owners. We're going to be able to protect the key employees that run these plans in such a significant way that we're trying to make sure that you see this information. Um, there's many different ways that we can continue to bring this out through the newsletters and through emails. But what we're hoping is to engage you maybe on a, a you know, 10 to 15 minute call just to kind of get an idea as to what members might, be bene might benefit from something like this. Um, there's lots of members you know, within your group that probably have plans with assets. And, and although this can work for startup groups, we can save them a lot of money. We've had lots of examples of companies that have come in and we've saved them 30 to 40 percent in, in startup costs. But it really hits home with those that have a, you know, 15 plus employees, um, even over five employees from an administrative standpoint. But from a cost standpoint, it, there's a significant reduction that they can achieve. So we really want to make sure we're going to be sending out a couple of different videos, um, not only just for the 401k, but also for uh, property and casualty, um, the health, insu health insurance and medical uh, progress that we've made. But we're going to send these out to directly to the chapter head so that you guys can see this and hopefully just engage us on a phone call so that we can hopefully get this out in a more direct, more strategic way to the members for them to take a look. So I appreciate your time. I look forward to hearing from you. And we'll be back out with some more information um, in the coming weeks.